Hi there, and welcome to another video on the Bite Size channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to create a bloom glow effect inside of cables. I'd like you to pause the video and just make what you see here. Great, let's get started. First of all, click Render to Texture, and make sure MSAA is on 8, so we don't have any jaggies. Click the sphere, and lower the radius, so we're not stuck inside of some shape. Great. So now we're going to make a blur channel. So I'm going to go and make an image compose up. Underneath this, I'm going to add a draw image. And now I'm going to add a blur. I'm going to disconnect this from here. So I'm going to get the render to texture output, plug it into draw image, and get the image compose output and plug it in here. Here we have the blurred result. So if I now click image compose, it's using the viewport size, which is, as we can see, 720 by 480. A blur really doesn't need to be this big as it's very expensive to use. So we click use viewport size to deselect it. I'm going to put the width and the height on 256 by 256. This is going to be our basic glow effect. Now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to make an image compose. Underneath of it, I'm going to create two draw image. So the top draw image is going to have the original texture and the bottom one is going to have the blurred texture. So I'm now going to plug this back into here. We click on the blur and we turn it down. So now what we want to do is we want to put the blend mode on screen. I'm going to turn the blur from 10 down to 5. Now, as you can see, we've already got our basic glow effect. If I now click and draw image and change the amount, I can decide how much of this gets added. So this is very important to optimize your patch. If you want this to be dynamic, we could pull this out and say divide by four. I'm going to copy this. And this is the width and the height of the canvas. So I'm now going to plug these into here. And now they're always going to scale along with the canvas size. So as you can see, if I change the size of this and click here, we get the resolution changing here, and it still looks pretty good. So the last thing I want to show you is if you want to only selectively blur the brighter parts of an image, you can go between blur and draw image and add a luma key. Now, if we use luma key, we can add a threshold, which will only blur and glow the brighter parts of the image, which you can see here. So this was the basics of how to add a bloom glow effect into cables. I hope this video has shown you some cool new tricks. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the video below or on the forum. Thanks for your time. Bye.